Guys, what's up? Instead of showing, um, uh, just showing a whole bunch of pictures, you know, step by step picture. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna throw a couple coils on it and um, it, and um, and wick it real quick, so you actually see that um, how it looks, the end product, and how I actually do it. You know, once again, I'm not a professional um, reviewer, professional installer, but I do um, pre-build my. Addy, so uh, and in case you don't want me to do it, you could do it yourself. So here it is. So let's just, you know, I'm not going to talk much. I'm just going to do it. I will comment, you know, I mean, as we go. Um, I'm starting. I'm working on a copper fogger here. I took the airflow control ring off. It'll be just easier to work on. Okay, the the coils I'm putting it on. Okay, it's 28 gauge coils. Okay, 28 gauge. Got an eight wrap coil. Okay, out of 28 gauge wire. Uh, I wrap these on the hanger, okay, on a regular coat hanger, because um, it's I, I do like them a little bit bigger on this, okay. So just remember the coat hanger and 28 gauge wire, okay. So there we go. I do one coil at a time. I like to put it. I have a little cutout, you know, a little hanger cutout and stuff. So I just do one at a time. It just seems to be easier that way. To do it one at a time. Let me loosen up these a little bit so I have them. Okay, I'm gonna if I twist it and you can't really see it, I will turn it the good way so you can see it after I put it on. Okay, so I'm gonna do it so I get this done quickly. Okay. I like to go like counterclockwise on on them. It's because you know when we tighten the screws up, you know what I mean. It's gonna go clockwise, so you won't twist the whole coil. You understand? All right. So I just do pretty much. I put it. I get it in place. I wrap it around the post. Wrap it around the. You know what I mean? So it stays in place. You know. When, once we tighten it down, that's when we're gonna do the rest. So now we got this one in place. We're gonna twist it. And we're gonna do the same one with another coil. All right, so I get another coil. Put the thingy right on here. And we do the, just repeat the process with the other side. Let me get this out of the way. Mm -mm -mm. This one got shorter leads, so I gotta get a good catch on it. And same thing, we just want to get it right around the post one time. I get I tighten that with needle nose, you know, so he gets that tight, nice and tight around the post. You know, when you tighten it down, you won't slide from under. You know, where you'd be having problems like that when you get the thing nice and tight and it just pops right under from under the top cat. And you got to do the whole thing all over again, so this prevents it from happening. If you do it with needle nose, you kind of like make it tight. Okay, so I got another one in place. You see that? I got both of them. I know they look ugly right now, but it's basically just two of them. You know, both. Hold on, let me get it so you guys can see. Just hang in there, okay? Here's why I get it with coat hanger. Because these are the parts that you can make. You know what I mean? Out of coat hanger. You just cut one up for different pieces to hold the coils in place. I got this piece. What this does is I can hold both coils in place on both sides of the post while I'm tightening the post. And the, and, um, the coil will not get messed up. The, by, by the, you know, get when you twist the things, you won't spread out and none of that crazy stuff. You'll keep it nice and good shape. So all you got to do is just put it right through the coils that are already in and it just... Put it right through there. You should go in because it's you know made from hanger. Okay, so when we got it in place, that's let's get it tightened down now, and then we're gonna get it all pretty. So hold it with both hands. So when you do twist it, you will not take it with it. Okay. Got one side. Check. Let's go with the other side. And you see how he wants to go when you tighten it up. He wants to go somewhere, but it's not. All right. 
See? I got it tightened down and it's like in one spot. Just like that. Let me see if I could line it up. You see it? Check it out. So two 8 wrap 28 gauge coils just sitting on each side of a post and the little hanger thing just holds them in place while I tighten down the um, the post so you won't pull the coil with it with the screw you know what I mean so okay we got it like that so now we just take the take this thing right out we don't need it no more and we want to get rid of the leads sometimes doubled up you know they will pop out if you try to twist them off you know what I do is I just clip them one two <laughs> this is the product after we got the thing clipped it's not pretty I know not yet we just got it you know in place that's all we got you know let me show you like keep it still so you actually see it before we start doing anything else can you see this better hold on okay so it is just how it looks you know what I mean regular this is how it, okay so let's get it straightened up all right I'm trying to get this video real quick so you won't be 40 minute video I apologize about that guys no more long videos I promise I didn't know it's annoying I was annoyed the sh fuck out of myself myself okay so I do is I just take that piece that was that was helping me with it and I just push it more down towards the air hole you want it on top of the air hole obviously because if you don't it's gonna get flooded because the juice will go right in there so we're gonna get that one next to it okay we're gonna put the things through the next coil and move her down towards the air hole also okay came back with it you want like I said you want it on top of the air hole it's a little twisted so I was pulling it out before okie dokie so do you see this Nice and pretty. Nice and pretty. You see it? Just two regular coils sitting on each side of the deck. Nice and even micro coils. Don't go try to go crazy and go with um, 26 gauge. Okay, so we got it twisted. Now let's see if it works. If it got anything, any resistance here. And what do we have here? 92. So we have a 0.9 right now. Okay, so let's put it on the mod and see um, you know we'll put it get it nice and tight get it hot and see if it works and that's when we'll be able to make it a little bit more prettier you know what I mean because once we get the coils nice and hot I don't like to burn my coils before I put it before I actually install them I'll tell you why and I might be talking out of my ass on this one okay I might be completely wrong but this is the way I feel when I burn them off with a torch before I install them I feel like it, it, it takes a little bit of that, it, I, be, I think they snap easier when you try to twist them on, on the pole. All right, so we got the thing. You want to make sure it's not touching the deck anywhere, obviously, right? Okay, just making sure. I just have to say stuff like that, okay? Just to make sure. Make sure it doesn't touch anywhere on the deck, okay? The coils are not supposed to touch the deck. All right, so we got a little bit of smoke. So they, as you could see, they're not lighting from the middle, right? It's because we just got them installed. So now we're going to try to just, you know, you don't want to squeeze it hard. You just want to squeeze it a little bit back in place. You know what I mean? So it'll stay in place. Okay. So we'll see how they light now. Uh -huh. All right, so we got the coil set up, right? It's not touching. 
we got it um, just before we start working it let's ohm it out again because once you do that it sometimes you will change you will jump by a point of an ohm okay so let's I was going for a point eight ish but we got a point nine ish so it's okay no like I said I was going for a point eight you know with the eight wrap thing and everything and that's exactly what we got we got 0.76 okay the 9.2 was in the beginning before we you know got the coil nice and pretty so you know right here is 0.8 coil that built deck for fogger all right regular eight wrap micro coils on each side very simple a lot of people having problems with this I, I okay I understand okay it's okay but once you watch a review, <laughs> the one that actually works, okay, let's do it, you'll be able to do it yourself, if you buy from me, I will do it for you, so you don't have to worry about this, so this fogger is actually for one of my customers, I sold him a fogger yesterday, he thought he could build it, he didn't, no problem at all, I will fix it for you, but I'll bring you this one tomorrow, like we plan. alright, so once again, once again, I do it with you know, before we put anything, squeeze it one more time. See how it's supposed to light from the middle out? Like that? That's how it lights. Okay, so let's work her now, right? Let me, I'm going to take off the mod because, so you'll be able to see it, you know? We'll put it back on. We'll put it back on when we're doing it, when we finish waking it. All right, so what I use here, and I pretty much, I include this with everybody. If you purchase anything from me, I will include Japanese cotton, at least a pad or two with it. Okay, so what I do is, you could either split it in half, then um, cut little strips of it. What I do is, I take a thin layer from the top, thin layer from the bottom, and this is the middle. This is the puffiest part, okay? So that's what I use. And what I do is just, I cut out little strips. Just little skinny strip, nothing fancy. I'll show you when I finish cutting them, I'll show you the exact size. You don't have to be big, you don't have to be, you can't be too small. You remember, you don't want to choke your coil off neither. Okay, if you put too much and it doesn't move freely, you, there's no room for the juice to um, saturate the wick and, you know, because it needs to have room but here just little tiny strips okay one end just get it wet twist one side one side take another strip take another strip We'll put her in, right? In the length of a cotton. This is what it looks like? Okay, before we cut it. We take scissors, alright? We take scissors and we chop it off about... About yay. About yay big? Trust me, you do not need a lot. At the end you will see that you don't have a lot left at all. And you do not need a lot. Dull ass scissors. <laughs> Okay, so just make this straight again. Okay. See, nice, two short little, not big at all. You do not need long hanging leaves. Do you see it? Need it like barely to the outside diameter of the deck. And that should be plenty. Okay. We take the juice. Take the juice and you want to saturate the width just a little bit so you can move it around because you're going to need to. I'll show you why in a second. So let's get it saturated. We want to saturate just so we can move it around, right? I'll show you what I mean. Okay, we take a little tiny screwdriver. Take a little screwdriver and okay let me before i start doing this let me explain this in a review on um youtube of these things okay they tell you that they want to 
pack it in these canals. Okay, these foggers are authentic, okay? So the authentic foggers, the juice canal is a little bit wider, okay? They, they look wide, okay? I understand that. And the YouTube review tells you that he sticks them in there. He says that he stuck them inside the thing before he puts the chimney on, okay? I tried it, okay? The, he dry hits you gotta understand if you blocked one off a little more than any other three now you're getting a little wick taste because one saturates one is not saturating properly you understand because one is touching like it's completely blocked off so here's what I, the proof I tried it with stuffing it stuffing a little bit what I do is just don't get it right on top of the hole that's all you gotta do just get it right on top of the hole and that's it you don't need to stuff it inside the hole. You don't need to do nothing. Do you see how I just put it right on top? You see it? I just put it right on top of the deck. I just want, when it comes in, on top of the hole, it meets the wick right there. That's it. Just put it up a little bit so you can s slide the thing on. Chimney. Like this. And we want to put the chimney on. Hold on, let me take the top off of the chimney so you can see when we put it on. Let me move this up a little bit. One second. I don't want to get it caught in a thread, the wick. You don't want to get caught in a thread because you will choke it off. So just kind of position it right, position it right on top of the hole. Don't get it caught in a thread. All right, so we got it. And we screw the thing back on. Don't move it back and forth, up and down, because you will move the wig the way you positioned it. You will move it if you move the chimney up and down. It's just you see the coal inside it's just positioned the wick is just positioned hold on one second let me try to get the light in there so you can see better mm -hmm. uh, okay I'm gonna walk you through it I'm, I apologize okay so just like I said Position the most of the um, end of the wick on top of the hole. Do not tuck in. You will get dry hits. Trust me. But if you don't position on top of the hole, you will get it. You will flood on you because you will go right in and right into the air hole. So position it on top, on top of the deck, on top of the air hole. So when it comes in, it will get stopped by cotton. This is Japanese cotton. Well absorbed. Absorbs a lot more than regular cotton does. So it's okay. You won't flood on you. You, you can handle the flow. All right, put it back on. Let me take it off the, let's, we got a wick, let's ohm it again. Let's ohm it again to see, seven, nine. So we got it at point eight, perfect point eight. Let's get it off the thing, let's put it on the mod, one second. Okay, first, I had the thing off. Okay, I don't use the airflow ring, airflow control ring, the, the threaded one that covers the hole, I don't use them. I like them airy, the 4.1's are a little bit airier than 4.0's, so it's more like a cave one, but still it's airy enough. You do not need that little airflow control ring, it's, it's w waste of time, okay? With the glass is being held by the o-ring on the bottom, o-ring on top of the top cap. Top cap is the only thing that screws on top of here, so we put the glass, we just put it in the middle, Put the top cap and it screws into the chimney. Screws into the chimney. Fogger 4.1. Let's see how she hits. Fogger 4.1. One copper with copper um, AR magnetic button MNKE battery. Let me let's hit on and see what she does.
<laughs> you don't have enough juice in it for me to keep blowing it. But it works like a beast. All right. And this is how you fill them. Let me check it down one, one second. Let me show you the bottom of it. Bottom. Copper 510 pin. Let me show you what it's can sit still for a second. I apologize about the shitty camera, guys. Copper 510 pin. Bottom fill hole. You just take this little... You just take this screw right out and you stick any needle or any plastic needle nose um, needle top cap for the bottles. Stick it right in there, fill it up. Holds almost close to four milligrams of juice. I know they say six and all that shit, four, okay? Beautiful 4.1s, man. Got them in copper, blue, black, uh, stainless steel, and gold. Thank you, and come holla at me at facebook.com backslash HH Vapor comes to you. You as in you, letter U. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace out.